Yeah, hey everyone, Brian with you from the Gamecom, and today we're going to be playing as Ethiopia. The Ethiopia pack just came out a couple hours ago, and yeah, we're going to be hopping right in. So, I mentioned that at the end of my last Civ 6 series as Khmer, that I wanted to go into this Ethiopia campaign, basically sight unseen. So, somehow I've managed to just avoid all spoilers uh, when it comes to Ethiopia, and basically almost everything when it comes to this pack. So, you're going to be seeing most of this, or at least I'm going to be seeing most of this for the first time so you're going to just be seeing my reaction there's no particular reason for doing it other than i i think maybe just to you know save some of my uh excitement and so you guys kind of get my first opinion of it all uh i hadn't looked i looked at some of these patch notes before we hopped in but we're gonna look at all the persona stuff here in a second when we hop in the game uh i hadn't looked at anything with ethiopia yet so i have literally no idea how they play they did add a new district which is the diplomatic quarter this one seems rather interesting Interesting. It gives you a little more diplomatic favor. Uh, also, uh, you can only build one, but enemy spies operate at two levels below normal. So this seems like this might be pretty necessary. Well, maybe not necessary, but nice to have when we're going for a science victory wherever we build our spaceport. That's going to be interesting. Uh, then they added a couple other new buildings. And then this is the only other thing I really looked at. Uh, the only other changes, by the way, which that's all the, the ignore that. But the only changes, it seems, is they just did some bug fixes. There didn't seem to be any bad balance fixes which you know that's fine uh, but yeah, they ended up adding a new game mode, which is called Secret Societies. So discover the Secret Societies pulling the strings of each civilization since the dawn of the time. Uh, there's, what, six of them or something? But once you discover them, it unlocks a new governor with powerful bonuses, which players do not need to assign to a city. Once you become a member of society, you commit to membership for the rest of the game. Alliances with players who are members of the same society generate alliance points more quickly, and those players will have an improved opinion of you in diplomacy. Players who are members of a different society, however, will dislike you once they're aware of your affiliation so essentially you know just another reason for deity ai to hate you so i don't know we're gonna see how that plays out i'm kind of excited i didn't look at any of the uh societies i kind of want those just to be you know sight unseen and so we'll, we'll see how those work out uh when we hop in uh or when we actually see them so we'll probably end up you know I think here's the thing. I'm assuming there's probably going to be one or two societies that we absolutely want to be every single time. And so I think this first game, you know, we're probably going to end up just finding the first one we run across and, you know, join that one. So let's make sure there's no mods going. Disable all, please. Okay. We'll play a modless game this first time. So we're going to be playing as Ethiopia, but I do want to have the new Teddy and the new Catherine in. So this is the Magnificent. So improved luxury resources adjacent to theater square districts or chateau receives plus two culture. Okay, may initiate the court festival project in any center city center with the theater square. Uh, interesting. So instead of building wonders then, actually no, this is spying. So the chateau here is for wonders it's the same here but this one then also makes the chateau uh useful when adjacent to uh luxury resources interesting now the court festival is that the theater square no isn't that that's the great people one that's a different name so i'm wondering what the court festival project is but grand tour plus 20 percent production towards medieval renaissance industrial area wonders that's the same uh the imperial are the same and the chateau is nearly the same so basically it's just a different um uh agenda oh yeah she also has a different agenda too okay that was her then let's look at teddy uh, Rough Rider. So units receive plus five combat strength on their home continent. Envoys sent to the city state you have a trade route to count as two envoys. Gain Rough Rider unique unit. Didn't he? Breathtaking tiles adjacent to either a natural wonder or mountain receive plus two science. Didn't he already have the Rough Rider one? Wasn't that the old one? Breathtaking tiles adjacent to either natural wonder or mountain receive plus two signs. Breathtaking tiles to adjacent wonder or woods receive plus two culture. All tiles in a city with the national park gain one plus appeal. Yeah, this one's actually the new one. That's interesting. So they basically switched. They made this the original one then. And oh, and then this one also has the Rough Rider. Okay. Yeah. Huh. So this is the new model, but then this is the one that has the new thing. All right, well, we'll play as Rough Rider Teddy, because, you know, 
it, it's the new model. And then I want to play as Ethiopia. I have no idea. What's the name of the guy? Uh, is this Ethiopia? Okay. We'll look at the stuff when we get into the game. We do want to play with the new rules. Give me secret society modes. Up to four. So there's four of them. The traces can be found barbarian, tribal villages, or by sending envoys to city-states, or finding natural wonders. Okay. Cool. We want to do, I think... Let's just do shuffle again. Let's go up to standard. Uh, resources. We'll do abundant start position standard. And then, yeah, let's do deity. <laughs> uh, all right. Are we good? Are we missing anything? I don't think so. Okay. Well, let's listen to Sean Bean. I'm assuming he recorded this one too, right? I do have more RAM in the computer, so we'll see how if it loads any quicker. Yeah, I think I've gotten more RAM since the last time we played this game too, right? Because I'm up to 32 gigs now, where I was at 16 gigs before. Uh, okay, but yeah, we're the stuck at the... Oh, there we go. ...of life beneath water. To the great beasts of the Stone Age. To man taking his first upright steps. You have come far. We know this, Sean. Now begins your greatest quest. From this early cradle of civilization... By the way, on he looks kind of creepy. Menelik II. Great king and emperor. You have a vision for your people. You will build both friendships and factories, alliances and railways, and use your wits and your wisdom to bring Ethiopia into a bright and free future. Okay, so that kind of sounds like we're diplomacy? Interesting. Ethi- whoopsie. Uh, Ethiopia. Let's see what we're looking at here. So, is international trade routes grant 0.5 faith per resource at the origin? So, that's bonus and luxury resources. Improved resources provide plus one faith for each copy the city owns. Interesting. Can purchase archaeology museum and archaeologists with faith. Interesting. Receive science and culture equal to 15% of your faith generation in cities founded on hills. So we want to found our cities on hills then. Units receive plus four combat strength on hills. All right, so we want to be a... Uh, so we're probably going to have a hill bias then, I guess. Uh, the cav is a unique medieval light cavalry unit. Stronger and greater uh, sight than the courser. It replaces, receives no movement penalty for moving in hills. All right, so it's a 46 as opposed to the Corsair, which is a 44. So it's a very, 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 very uh, light upgrade then. And then it's just slightly faster. It has five movement points. So it has this. So really, it's not that much better in the scheme of things. Okay. Uh, and then what is the last thing with Ethiopia? The rock hewn church. So unlocks the builder ability to construct a rock hewn church unique to Ethiopia. Plus one faith, plus one faith for every adjacent mountain and hill tile. Provides tourism after researching flight. Uh, from faith, plus one appeal. Can only be pillaged, never destroyed by natural disasters. Can only be built hills, volcanic soil, not adjacent to another rock hewn church. Okay, so it sounds like we're supposed to be a culture faith game. Great, more culture games. My favorite. So we want to spawn then. Uh, on hills. We want to exist on hills. The question is... I don't think we want to go over there. I think we're just going to spawn where we... Or start here where we spawned. Unless this is any better. This might actually be a little bit better over here. Okay, well, let's take a look at this. So if we settle here, we'll be able to work the 111. We'll be able to work that pretty quick. Um, initially, we would work the probably 213. If I went here, though, we would lose the housing boost. If I went here, we'd be able to work a 2-2. Uh, there's no particular harbor bonus here. Uh, let's think about city center bonuses. We're going to want a theater square. We're going to want to go faith pretty early on, apparently, because we're going to want the religion. Although, actually, in the scheme of things, we don't uh, need a religion. We just want as much faith as possible. Faith generated in cities founded on hills. So, yeah, we just want as much faith 
Interesting. So this is going to be a very weird one to think about. So we're going to want more faith generation so that we could get more culture generation. Or, I mean, we could theoretically do a science victory off of it as well. But I think we'll go for the tourism stuff. So we want a faith, but we want to go really heavy into culture, which means we don't want to be too warlike. So then it really comes down to where do we want to settle? I, I might just settle where we're at. Just because... I'm kind of torn because I don't know what this looks like and this could be really good but this could potentially be dangerous because it looks like we're on the north side of the map here's my initial thinking I think we're on the north side of the map which means there's gonna be another player most likely in this direction which means I kind of want to settle here and then potentially like right over here so we can get more as many seas as possible my concern because if I settle here, I'm not going to be able to settle there. One, two, three. I would have to settle one, two, three, four over here. You know what? For that sake alone, I think we're just going to settle right here. Our capital is going to be a little on the weak side. Especially until we get 50 gold. But I think we're just going to have to make it work. The only nice thing we got going for us is we are going to get quite a bit of cash early game. Which I suppose is going to work. Uh, we do want astrology, but we'll go animal husbandry, um, just because we want to get archery pretty early on. You know what? No, no, no. Screw that. Let's do astrology right away. Let's get this religion up. Let's get this religion up and let's just pop out warriors. We'll be a little aggressive towards our religion. Um, here. So I'm actually very happy we settled where we want, where we did, because this is going to be on hills. This will give us gems, and uh, we're still going to be able to settle here and here. If I settled here, I would not be able to settle there. So we made a great decision, ironically. <laughs> okay, sorry, this is probably going to be a little slower as I actually figure out everything with the game. We had discovered any of the secret societies. We're not going to look at that until we actually discover it. Um, okay, we're actually on the south side. All right. Oh, but the bright side is we found the barbarians. That's good. Do barbarians give secret societies? Or was it just secret, seek, writ, societies? There are four to make contact. Barbarian outposts. Okay, so barbarian outposts. We don't want to read any uh, anything about them yet. And then I also wanted to look at France. Hold on, hold on, hold up. Uh, Catherine the Magnificent. So... What is that new thing she had? Like civilizations that trade luxury uh, resources to her. Oh, interesting. So she's essentially Egypt. Or, uh, 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 Aztec. Where is the other... Court Festival, that's it. Court Festival. I want to see what this is. When complete, 50 culture, 50 tourism. Based on the number of excess copies of luxury resources. Ooh, okay. Um, so you know what I'm immediately realizing is going to suck? She's going to be hard to beat when it comes to culture. <laughs> and we're going for a culture game. Great. Oh, yeah, this is going to be fun. This is going to be fun. And then, uh, hey, Teddy, what's the other one? Uh, agenda here. Likes peaceful civilization. So that's the same one. So yeah, they changed it to Bull Moose. What's this agenda? Wants to settle near high appeal tiles and build wonder appeal districts and wonders and likes those that do the same. Okay, interesting. All right, all right, all right. Having one sieve go crazy in, uh, in culture isn't going to be that bad. It's going to be if there's multiple sieves that we have to deal with doing it. I am a little scared, though, about, you know, how easy is it going to be able to win with... Because uh, France seems like she might be a little OP. She was already pretty good when it came to culture. I wouldn't say great, but I would say pretty good. But now it sounds like she might actually be great when it comes to a culture game. But we'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. That's why we wanted to go into Sight Unseen. Because, quite frankly, if I would have not gone in Sight Unseen, I might have just pretended that the new France didn't exist. <laughs> Also, Barbarian Warriors already? What the hell, game? Seriously, what the hell? So, we got spotted, or a city-state near us got spotted by the Barbarians? Uh, we should be okay here. There's our promotion. That's good. You'll just chill here. We're going for the second city right away. I think we're okay. 
until the tornado comes and absolutely destroys me. Ah, okay, okay, we like to see that because we're trying to find the new people. Go this way, hit my city, or actually go that way. Either way, yeah, that's fine, thank you. Just don't hit this guy. New population, beautiful. So how are we gonna know? Is it gonna just alert us? When we get the new society, is there gonna be a new... Okay, here we go. You've discovered a mysterious society called the Sanguine Pact. Sanguine, Seguine, right? Seguine, Seguine, Seguine? And earned one governor title. The girl shows up at the gates of the city, white-faced and mumbling about dark strangers she met on the road, a rush of wind and wings, and the secret pain that she ever felt. Your doctor treat her, but she seems to be fading fast. As night falls, a foreign noblewoman, she seems like a noblewoman at least, just as she seems foreign, appears at your gate. The girl's with me, she says, her smile revealing astonishingly white and prominent teeth. Perhaps you could invite me in. Okay... Unlocked by destroying a barbarian can't grabs a vampire unit? What? What? Oh, uh, yes. Yes. You have drunk the red cup and felt new life coursing through your veins. The night seems alive with new possibility and appetites. Your palace stands shutter and quiet during the day. And, uh, and but after sunset, new courtiers place the halls, their feet making no sound as they go. What? So, so, da, 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 da. There are freaking like vampires now? Oh, there's a vampire castle? Combat unit unique to the Sanguine Pact has base. You know what? Screw it. We're going to look, we're going to Google this word just so I pronounce it right. S A N G U I E. Uh, pronunciation. I have heard this word many times. I don't know why I can't say it. Sanguine. 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 Wait, sanguine. Sanguine. Sanguine, 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 sanguine. As base combat strength equal to the strongest unit your cities have produced, gains permanent combat strength when a unit dies in adjacent tiles. What? Strength from barbarians dealt is capped at plus 10. When killed, retreats to HP, uh, to one HP to the capital or nearest vampire castle, heals an additional 50 HP from pillaging enemy tiles, but receives reduced passive healing. Interesting. Vampire Castle can be built in player owned in neutral territory that a vampire produce, uh, provides fortification to units in the tile, duplicate yields from the adjacent tiles when builds, adds them to the Vampire Castle tile, and grants adjacent uh, tile yield to capital city. Okay. Duplicates yields from adjacent tiles when built, adds them to the Vampire Castle's tile. So, if I went here and built the capital, or built the castle. Duplicates yields from adjacent tiles. So you're telling me I would gain all of this here? Also, the permanent plus 10 strength? Holy crap, dude. I am starting to realize these societies are going to be really overpowered. I am quite excited for this. Dude, I didn't realize they're going to be like foreign crap. Um, how can I build the castle? What do I need to do this? By vampire. It can be built by a vampire. Does it have to be in another city? Player owned and neutral territory. Maybe it's just not adjacent to the capital. Maybe that's what's happening here. So let's see what this looks like if I can build it over here. Uh, so we know there's a barbarian in camp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to say. Um, we do want to actually send the vampire over here to go help out. Oh, man. Let's go early, empire. It's risky, but with the vampire, I should be fairly safe at this point in the game uh, from AI aggression. I mean, especially if I can get this guy leveled up. Okay. Can be built in player owned and neutral territory by a vampire. Provides fortification. I assume I can't build it here because there's a forest. I don't know why I couldn't build it there, except maybe because it was adjacent to the city center. So, well, let's go send you over here to go help kill. Um, ah, geez. That sucks. Yeah, that's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt a little bit. You should actually suicide into me, I think. So, we're probably okay there. 
way for now. Should be able to live. So with the vampire though, we want him to be adjacent. We don't want him to kill. Combat strength when units die in adjacent tiles. So it sounds like we actually don't want to get the kill with him. Yeah, I can't build it there either. Maybe, is it a tech lot? Can construct vampire castle. I'm very confused why I can't build it for the record, but okay. Okay, okay. I'll cry. Ritual unlocks in medieval era, grants a vampire union your capital and allows your vampires to construct vampire castles. Ah, I can't do it till a medieval era. That actually makes sense. Okay, we want you here. Uh, just so I want him to heal up just a little bit, just so he doesn't get murdered. Uh, you can just heal here as well. We should be fairly safe. Our second city is gonna go there. Okay, so let's think about how we want to do this. Plus zero from barbarians that have died near the vampire. Plus zero from units that have died near the vampire. So once again, it sounds like I don't actually want to get the kill. I'm going to put you here. Because when, once again, I want him to kill. So we should be safe there. We can now do astrology, which we will rush out here pretty quick. Um, archery probably isn't bad. I hate the desert right next to us. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, we're in a bad spot, dude. We are completely trapped. Oof. That is shucks. Okay, so he's got a promotion available, which means now we get plus 10, plus one from barbarians that have died. So does that plus one apply to others? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so he's a permanent 21 now. It's interesting that this number here didn't go up. It's a bonus listed. So we're just going to have to keep that in mind because I'm assuming every vampire then is going to have a different number. Value. I forgot to send the freaking delegation. Oh my god. Oh, this shucks. I got so distracted by the vampires, man. <laughs> uh. Okay, so once again, I do not want to kill with you. Although, we'll, we'll just, we'll heal. We'll chill. Yeah, he even went down here. This might be a restart, guys. I hate to say it, but we have no room right now. This is pretty terrible. This is pretty... I, I almost want to say catastrophic. Like, we're going to get three, four cities, maybe? Ugh. It's terrible, man. So I'm going to go here, and then we're going to kill you here. Is the plan. Hmm. Yeah. Now, there might be land right here. Okay, so once again, I don't think you want the kill. So, he is now at plus two, which is great. If he suicides, I think I should get it because that will be adjacent. Or do I have to go here? That might be the adjacent tile. Yeah, he might actually attack the vampire too. Either way. Hmm, interesting. So, we're going to want a galley here pretty quick as well. Which we can uh, buy one here before too long. So that should be now plus three. Goody. Good, good, good. Um, I'm going to switch over to sailing and grab a galley first. As opposed to archery. The thing is, if Japan declares war on us, we're going to want archers, but there's not much I can do. Can we see what his secret society is? He doesn't have one. Uh, okay. Can I share it with him? Or, like, how does that happen? Is it just a passive thing? Yeah, you know what? I think if I would have sent him a delegation, I think he would have been likely to actually have it shared. Jima. Adis. Abba. Ababa. Ababa. That's what it sounds like. Um, let's go warrior. Just to keep myself alive. We're going to want some builders. Um, I do want another city. But honestly, my big hope is to get the free settler from fate, uh, from our first policy agenda. Uh, what is it called? Antheon. <laughs> you know that word. That means things. Oh, shoot. Well, yeah, this is going to be a restart. I mean, we could probably defend this one, actually. Now that I look at it, we're going to be able to defend this pretty easily. But he's definitely coming for war. The problem is I have no place to expand, man. 
I have absolutely no place to extend. So you're kidding? I'm gonna get vampires and I'm not even gonna be able to use them. Mm. Mm. What about going and killing Japan? That's the positive aspect. This is not a good map to fight Japan on. Just gonna be straight up on us. This is not a good map to fight Japan on. So I don't know that that's gonna be feasible. If I could send him a trade route. Hmm. I actually think that's the plan. Downside is I don't know I can because I don't think I have vision. Crap. I do have three warriors, which theoretically should be enough to keep him from declaring war on me. But yeah, I need to get vision to Kyoto because that might keep us alive. Maybe. Uh, so let's go holy site prayers so you can get the religion. Maybe we just want to go religious victory since Catherine's in the game. That actually might not be a terrible idea. Uh, you need to chill here, buddy. There's not really much else we can do. You're skipping one more turn. He's coming around this way. It we are in a very bad spot. Sure very bad spot. Should now have access to, uh, to Kyoto. So that will give us a bonus relation with him. I, he could just declare war on me, destroy that warrior, and then we're in a bad spot. I could buy another warrior right now. I'm wondering if buying a warrior is worth more than a galley. Well, here's the thing. So the vampire is the highest melee unit, right? Has base combat equal to the strongest unit your cities have produced. Which means, theoretically, well, it says produce, not bought. So if I buy a galley, does that count? Or does it have to actually be produced? Because the galley's got the 30 melee strength. So having him at like 32, 33 would actually be crazy good. Uh, and by him, I mean him. We really want to hold the... Oh, he might actually be going for a Jima. Yeah, he could. He could. Not really much I can do about that. Uh, give me the free... Give me the free... Give me the... F Gosh dang it, are you kidding? Someone took it! Ah! I hate you! Ow! Quick in this one too. Dang it! Ah! So what do we want then? Uh, uh, I mean, the free builder maybe, but probably not. Faith from mines over luxury. That's only one. Dang it, I really need another settler. Production faith from strategic resources. We don't know where any strategic resources are, so I mean, that could be good, that could be eh. Faith from quarries, there's only one stone near us. Uh, got a war? Maybe. Increased healing? Nah. Nah. Production towards districts? No. City growth is 10% higher. Gosh, oh, I hate this, man. Honestly, fishing boats probably isn't the worst one. I've kind of moved away from fishing bones recently. We could also go for Divine Spark, but... Divine Spark's always just good. Then need housing if they have a holy site district next to a river. Yeah, about that. Now, what about the floodplains? Probably not. I think I think we're just going to be simple and we're going to go for production over strategic and faith. And we're really going to hope we got a lot of strategic resources, which quite frankly is probably not going to happen. But, no you know, we'll try. Teams. We'll try. So I want to go here. He can't solo Jimma. Like that will not be possible. Uh, do I have anything I can trade? Actually, I do, Brian. What are we doing? We can trade him the gems. Uh, and then I can buy my ship here. So 120. And that might give us enough strength to keep him from declaring war. 110, sure that'll work. Hi, purchase, galley. Why am I spending so much time on a game that's pro a probable loss? Uh, so he's still 20. So it is produced, not uh, bought. Meh. It's fine. It's fine. 
the bigger issue and the reason I wanted that is because A, it's going to give all of our cities a little extra production or defensive capability, uh, number one. But then uh, number two, it also gives me a little extra military might, which makes him a little less likely to declare war, maybe, perhaps. I need another dude right here. And we just need to guard these three. He should be able to hold this by himself for the most part. Although he does have reduced healing. We'll have to see how that comes to screw us over. Um, Probably should keep the holy side prayers till we get the religion. Yeah, probably. Even at the risk of... Uh, we got a guy in 11 turns. What's, what's, what's another warrior look like? Five turns? Slinger's fortune. You know what? Give me a slinger. Because that will upgrade to an uh, archer. Yeah, he's actually not wanting the war with me, it looks like. He might be friendly with us. We might have pulled this out. Because the trade route's plus two, so he's only at negative four. Plus then the galley might have given us just enough uh, defensive uh, power, might, that he's now looking like he's not going to declare on us. Let's freaking go. We're going to get a Dark Age. That sucks. <laughs> I mean, why not, right? <sighs> Whatever. So I really am gonna need cartography as quickly as possible so we can um bark. Oh sorry, shipbuilding. And we're gonna really need uh islands over here. Okay. Do we wanna come around here? I mean, not really. Not really. If we meet one other guy, we get normal age. I think I'd almost rather have a dark age, though, at this point. I mean, it's not like he's going to put loyalty pressure on me. Eh. Even if he gets a golden age, I should be fine. So, yeah, let's come back, because I don't want to meet someone. I'd rather get a dark age into a heroic age. Okay. We've somehow managed to uh, keep ourselves alive against Japan on a coastal island. And we're just in a very awkward tiny city. Yeah, this is going to be fun. This is going to be fun. Um, I think we're going to go for a religious gameplay. I think so. I don't know we're going to have a chance for culture, because I don't think we're going to get enough cities for a cultural game. I shot an arrow into the air. It but religion, we can probably make work. All right, early empire is wonderful to see. Um, you want production towards settlers. I should have switched over to plus one production. Uh, we don't need you right now, so give me... Four turns on the galley. Actually, I think is going to be worth it. Yeah. Uh, and then, yeah, we're going to go straight to shipbuilding. 43 turns, that seems kind of bad. It is what it is. It'll be cut in half. Actually, that is cut in half. Wait a second. What? Oh, Brian. Brian, 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 Brian. That's towards the tech. The galley's cut in half. Four turns. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we want. What about our faith and our religion? Someone got Catholicism. Most likely Stonehenge? No. No, they just picked it up. Nah, we need, we need to finish this. We need to get our religion. If we don't, we might find ourselves in a bad situation. And there's freaking barbarians. Of course there are. Hmm. I kind of don't want to send him back. Just an off chance he changes his mind. My assumption is he's going north because he's going to go declare war on someone else. Or someone else declared war on him. I think he's going to declare war on someone else. I think that's it. What? Where is this barbarian encampment? Must have spawned down there. Well, that sucks. Yeah, that really sucks. Uh, you can go build a holy site. Plus one. Um, uh, what did we want to do with us again? Mountain or hill towel. Tourism. It doesn't, there's no specific spot. So yeah, we'll just throw you there then. This would be interesting, but not going to be able to get that. So then I think I'll send you up here and we'll send you back. <laughs> I don't think we're going to do that. I think we're going to do it this way. I think, I think we got to be careful. Yeah. He spotted us, so we're going to have some barbarians coming our way here. Hopefully we can kill him. Yeah, he's coming back. Dang it. 
We can kill him quick, though. We won't have to deal with too many warriors spawning. We might have to just leave those barbarians alive for the time being. Uh, looks like we got coast. Good. 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 Uh, do the founded religion, please. Government production. Man. Yeah. Yeah. I should have probably grabbed the plus one production before anyways. Uh, he put the city close to me, but not too bad. Okay, you're gonna die. See what this coast is. Please don't have someone right here. What if someone's right there? That might be a restart. That might just be a restart at that point. Oh no, it's just gonna be a crappy tiny island. All right, well, this is gonna be fun. <sighs> I was kind of hoping for a nice easy game after our Khmer, but no, the game is like, nah, 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 nah. He's building holy site, so he's going faith as well, which is gonna be rather interesting. Gonna be interesting. Does he have a secret society? None. Okay. Will it still say none? Like, will I know when he knows? That's kind of the question. Or as soon as he knows one, will I know? Hmm. I need my second galley here pretty quick. Um. I think we go Mashka. I think we go Mashka. Because we're going to want to max out Mashka as quickly as possible. And we're not going to have that many cities, so provision. It, nice, but we're just going to have to live without it. I need to find more freaking islands that no one exists on. I can settle over here, and we probably want to get a city over there as quickly as possible. What are we looking at when it comes to religion? Two are gone. Shinto should be Japan. We should have one next turn. Okay. So we got that going for us. So let's ditch you. Uh, I'm assuming Shinto's Japan. No! Unmet player. Interesting. Skill without imagination. But Shinto is always Japan. Okay. Well, that's fine. Uh, great person. Go ahead and recruit. Go give me my religion. Um... What the freaking heck religion are we going to do? I have no idea, man. This is going to be an awkward one. So we want to finish the archer. Actually, let's do the galley first into the archer. Um, I actually would love a galley over here. You know. Let's do archer into galley and let's go ahead and purchase a galley here. Just because we want to explore this direction as well. Okay. 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 What religion are we going to go with? Uh, I think I'm gonna do a Parkeroo one after my dog Parker. What kind of what speaks dog? What speaks dog? We got the cow. Hey, you know what? It's been a while. Let's go back to communism. Communism, not to be confused with communism. Communism, uh, completely different. So keep in mind, we're gonna go for a faith victory. So what do we want with the faith victory? Well, we definitely need reliquaries because this one's always great. Faith bonus provides production as well. Wait a second. Oh, work ethic. The plus two and a plus one production in our two cities. We're not gonna really get that much production, like that many adjacency bonuses because we don't have that many mountains. I'm trying to debate with a smaller empire, what's going to be better? I don't think I don't think it's worth work ethic. I think this is better for bigger empires, so we get more holy sites. I think we need reliquaries, and we're going to want as many relics just to get as much faith as possible to help make up for the fact that we don't have as many um, holy sites. And then we're always going to want uh, missionaries cheaper on a religious gameplay necessary. I don't think they added anything because there was nothing in the notes. Because it was only bugs, so I didn't actually pay attention. But I like it. Yeah, I don't think there's anything there. So I'm gonna keep you up here, and I'm just gonna send one guy, and hopefully we can keep him alive. There is another coast over here. Got a chance. Got a chance. Uh, we need to go back to settler. Yeah. I do have the production on it, but it really doesn't matter because it's not like we're. I mean, we fought one barbarian, but still. 
Okay, Archer here is gonna be pretty good for us. Uh, he can shoot, oh, that's not a hill. No, that's actually a really bad spot for him then. Uh, if we go here, we can shoot that tile. If we go here, we can shoot that tile. Here though, opens us up to being hit by barbarians. Do I put him on flat terrain with no terrain bonuses? Well, the other options are bring you back here. So this is a plus three bonus. This is also a plus three bonus. I think we actually do that. I think we do it like here and we defend this tile. There's not going to be any difference. Oh, no. I lied because we get plus something on hills. Uh, we're not Colombia. Uh, 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 what are we? What are we? Uh, uh, um, Ethiopia. We get the bonus on hills, which I actually totally forgot. Plus four combat strength on hills. So we do want to stay there then. Huh. Now, Japan doesn't have a lot of hills. So an invasion, that really doesn't become any more feasible. Because there's not really too many hills. And his cities aren't really on hills. So, now nah, It probably doesn't change that. But that means we probably can defend our city really easily. You're 30 now. So you did actually take the strength of the galley. Dude. That's psycho. Yeah, that's psycho, man. I like it. I like the vampire. I'm stoked to have it. So then what are we going to do with you? I could put him here and then plan on shooting stuff here. I think you're just going to go there. And you're probably just going to have to run away when uh, the AI gets close, which sucks. But I don't know what else we can do. Okay, I really need these cities as quickly as possible, please. It's going to be a longer episode. Deal with it. I know, like, how dare you? How dare you, Brian, give us extra time in your episodes? Uh, we need to go right back, please. Although, I do want roads through uh, my empire, so that would be great. Do you like us any better now? Dude. If we would send him a delegation, we would be friends with him. We screwed that up so bad. We would, we would legit be friends with him already. Nazca, let's go. Let's freaking go, dude. And this is great for the desert tiles, too. Or We have... None. Okay. Okay. I'm wondering if we were the first one, if we got, like, extraordinarily lucky, or what happened? Why we got the Secret Society so quick. Because surely the AI has... Killed off some barbarian camps. Well, <laughs> eh, maybe. Maybe. This is the AI we're talking about. They aren't the greatest. Okay, go to Kyoto. That's going to give us another plus two. Or going to go back to plus two. Next turn. I wish I had a little more vision through there, but there's what it is. Kaguna? You knew? Bate? Oh, yeah, this is one of the newer ones. Tourism after researching flight. Oh, all right. I hate that, like, I think he just got spotted by Japan. Uh, actually, hold up. How many people have met you? Two, uh, two civilizations. There's one other player. So there is a player over in that direction somewhere. Which... Means we may or may not be able to settle right there. What are we doing in our capital? Okay, good. I realized I hadn't touched it for a while, and I got scared. Oh, uh, that's great, because it's fertilizing tiles for us. We'll be able to be friends with him, because we're not going to be by him. Problem is, if I settle over here, we're going to be by him, and he might not like us. If I can get to be friends with him here pretty quick, this might be okay. Um... I just want to get to the city. Or to the camp. So I'm just going to ignore you. Bow and Joe. Oh, nice. So we can get full housing over here. Probably want Mo and Joe before Nasca, honestly. Not liking how this map's looking, guys. Really not liking. We're gonna we're gonna play it out. I think at this point, the fact that we got uh, or we avoided war with uh, Japan, I think means we're we're gonna be okay. And we should be friends with Japan before too long. 
Because we're going to have strong faith and culture. Does he have a religion? Not that we can see yet. Uh. Nope. Does not have a religion. A strong economy. Actually, brings up a good point. I would like to get some missionaries up. We can't build them yet, but that would be nice to have. Uh, by the way, what was their great rider? Eh, spearmen, ugh, and irrigation. Who is the spearman? It was the second one, Mo and Joe. Gosh dang it. <laughs> uh, fine, I'll build a freaking spearman, stupid game. Uh, would you rather mysticism or oligarchy? I, I don't think we're going to be at war here in the next couple minutes. So let us go uh, uh, mysticism. Wait, we can already build the shrine, Brian. So if we went mysticism, that would be just to get the theology so we can go to the apostles. But what's our money at? Not enough to build a shrine. Do we want to build a shrine after this guy? No. Dude, where's this encampment? What? I guess there's more tiles down there. Huh. Ah, oh, dang it. Well, that's gonna hurt. So that spawned... Okay, so there's basically just some tundra down here. Hi, would you like open borders? Can we trade open borders? Yes, we can. Would you pay me for open I'll go with zero. Actually, that's a good point. I can trade him open borders, which will make him like me a little bit more. And he'll pay us. Okay. Okay. We should then be friends with him. Uh, we can also come settle over here, it appears. So, we might be fine. We might be fine. I'm a little concerned about this. I, I gotta run, man. If I hit him, he's gonna do too much damage. I have to run. If he comes there, he's not going to be able to shoot me. We'll be able to run away. I need the second unit probably to come kill him. And in fact, let's send the archer. We should be safe. Yeah, there you go. We'll have the delegation here anytime. So yeah, we'll send everyone back. Okay. That does not look like coast. <laughs> That's not the right color for coast. Where's our next city going to go? I don't really like the Tundra. Oh, he had that tile right there. Yeah, sneaky punk. The bright side is he's going to have a hard time getting to us because now he's a couple turns away. A couple moves away. Oh, buddy, I don't get it. You like me. I'm plus five to negative three. You should very much like me at this point. Ah, oh, shoot. China's over there. I also gave him the wrong thing. Whoops. I escaped that. All right, well, this could be awkward. No, we're still good. We can still settle over there. Okay. So you're trapped. All right, so there's nothing we can do there. All right, all right, all right. I cannot imagine any. You're gonna come, let's see, I want you. Well, that's a hill. That's fine. Archer's not gonna be able to shoot us. That's good. That's good. Japan, we just need a little bit of faith, man. If we just get a little bit more faith, he would like us. Uh, a little bit stronger military wouldn't be bad either. Uh, where are we looking now? Probably iron. Get some swordsmen up for the extra combat strength. Uh, shrine, we do not have anything to trade as of now, correct? Oh, we do have diamonds. Oh, okay. So then with that... I can give me 100 gold for that. China? So it appears that Japan's going to give us the most. But not nearly what I want. If I get like 90. Uh. Okay, so 85 puts us at 181. We almost have enough to buy a shrine. And by almost, we're about 100 away. Crap. So we need a city over here. Before Japan. And we probably do want to eventually get a city there. We did finish shipbuilding. Good to note. Uh, I don't think we have to worry about Japan's religion still. 
Yeah, India got a religion, but not Japan. So I'm actually going to go do... Laying on hands, which just saves so much time. It's so great. So we actually spread our religion in both of these cities already. We would love to go convert Japan here. Just for the era score, basically. Uh, most likely, I'm going to go use these guys to end up killing the archer and stuff. So you guys can pretty much just chill. So now, where do we want the city? Well, we want the city on a hill. Keep that in mind. That is not a hill. That is not a hill. Are there any hills over here that we can settle on? Meh. Yes, but not good ones. Right there, man. But that's not a hill. Mm. 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 I think we go here, though. Because that's a really killer harbor. Yeah. Actually, what are we doing, Brian? What are we doing? Do some expansion here. There's no hills. There actually is a hill. Science and culture to your faith generation. By the way, what does that look like? Point two. Interesting. So with the shrine, though, because right now you're only generating two per turn. The shrine would add what? Plus three, correct? So then we'd be at point five, no plus two. Huh. So we'd be at point four. Okay, but once you get the temple and everything, and if you get a reliquary, yeah, I can dig that. I think I am going to immediately send you over here. We do kind of want to get over here. I also really need a city in here as quickly as possible. But that'll probably be our next city. And, like, honestly, we have to just keep popping out settlers as much. I'm probably just going to buy the shrine. I don't think we have any other option. We're at 51 minutes. Oh, my God. All right, well, we probably should wrap this episode up then. So, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm really intrigued with this. Um, this game's definitely going to be a hard one, so hopefully we are going to be able to pull it out. Um, but we shall see. If you enjoyed the episode, drop a like, comment, let me know what you think. As always, hit the subscribe button, join the game, comment, share your support. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye, everyone.